Hey everybody, this is Brett with Snap University. Today I'm going to show you how to add a contact form on Wix and how to check for the email address that it's being sent to. This is something that my clients reach out to me all the time because they're not getting the emails. Um, just a little reminder, anytime you set up a contact form, unless you change it, it's going to go to the email account that's assigned to your Wix account. All right, so to add the contact form, I already added a contact form page. Now what I'm going to do is go to the far left and click the plus sign. All right. After I click the plus sign, what happens is the pop-up box comes up. Now this area here is where you're going to add 90% of everything you need for Wix. So just remember that, okay? Now it looks like it already defaulted to uh, contact forms. I'm going to select that and then take the one I want. And just for purposes, I'll use the top one there. And the header will go ahead and remain in place. And then the footer will adjust so it fits in. I want to get the contact form out of the header. I want to center it till we see the purple line. There we go. Perfect. It's in the middle. Now, that's how easy it is to add the form. Now, there's some other things you can do. Like I said, check the email address. Now, again, by default, it's going to go to whatever email account is on your Wix account. But to to change that, go up to the top there and click Form Settings. Go down to Settings. Click Email Notifications. Now, if you click Add New Contributor, it's going to take you out of this page, take you to another page where you can assign contributor roles. And they can do just more. You know, they can do more or less or whatever you want them to do as far as that. You can make them an admin. But for this purpose, we're just going to go ahead and assign it to one employee because we're going to have that employee go ahead and check emails. So if you go ahead and click other emails, it gives you this warning. That's fine. Go ahead and click. Yes, I'm sure. All right. And then after you get rid of that, just click add new email and type it in here. So for this, we're just going to type in Joe at, let's say, Wix, just to make it fast. Awesome. And then hit enter. All right. So now um, we go back here. We uncheck that. So if we double check everything, let's get rid of the dialog box. We don't want to see that again. If we double check everything, everything's going to go to Joe at Wix.com. And Brett.Weederin1 at Gmail.com is not going to get any of those emails. Now, there's a whole bunch of other things you can check here as far as like set up an automation. By default, I think Wix sets up an automatic automation. Um, which is basically a thank you email. It may, it may be in another video, I'll show you how to go ahead and change that. Um, but if you like the contact form and there's just a few things you want to change, you can actually do that. Just go ahead and click design and let's say customize design. Now the input fields, you can obviously change. You, you can change the color of it from white to let's say gray by just doing that. And then if you want to put a border around it, which it looks like it's already got a black one, you could do that. Uh, border style, you can change that around. You can make the width of the border a little bit larger by just clicking in there. And let's say you put in four. That way you'll be able to see the outline of it. Now, if you want to change the text in there, you can do that. The field title color, let's just change it to maybe like, a, I don't know, green or something. All right. All right, and you know, in fact, let's not get into this right now. Let's just leave everything as black because I kind of like the way that that looks. Um, if you want to change the font, make it larger, you can do that. If you want to change the font style, you can do that as well. Okay. Now, another thing um, by default. Oh, also, let's just kind of look at a couple other things like the submit button. Uh, if you want to change the submit button from black to, let's say, red. You can do that, and you can change the font too. Um, let's just, white's a good color, but let's just be stupid and change it to blue. And now it's changed to blue. You can also change the color of this. This will pop up when it's submitted um, by just clicking that and go to edit text. And let's change that color to blue, blue as well. And let's say you don't like the exclamation point, which is fine. Just go ahead and double click the words, hit the back arrow, boom, it's gone. Um, you can also change the size of the font. Let's change it to 22. 
See how obnoxious that got. I, I don't think it changed. Let's check it again. Yeah, it didn't change. 22, enter. Now it's obnoxiously big. We'll make it bold. Awesome. They'll see that for sure. Other things about the form. Let's see. Um, obviously, you can change the layout a little bit. The text alignment. I'll put it in the middle. You can do that. Um, show title field. Uh, I'm going to leave that off. Uh, you can change the contact form to um, one column if you want. Boom. We'll leave it on two because it looked pretty good. All right. See how the outline is set at four. We did that earlier. All right. That's enough enough for form layout. I'm going to set up an automation and have it kind of bounce in. You can do that. Expand in. F filled in. We'll leave it on that. That, that looks good. Anything else you want to do here? Set the time, duration. There we go. That's awesome. It's in there. Uh, let's see, you want to change the contact us to something else. Just double click it. There you go. It turned blue. And let's just call it reach out to us. There we go. Awesome. Um, this is pretty much everything you can do with the Wix form, just the basic knowledge. Took us about six minutes to do it. Um, it doesn't take you long to build a website. Um, there's some other things up here, like upgrading the plan, which they recommend, so you can submit more contact forms. But later on, I'll show you how to do that in data forms. You can have unlimited data forms, and that's great. That's going to come in another video. But if you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. I'll go ahead and reach out to you. Um, I'll respond. Or if you need help building the website, go ahead and go to snapudesign.com. And I'll go ahead and I can quote you on something. Or if you just need some brief help, you know, maybe a five minute job, I'll go ahead and do it. No charge. But, um, you know, feel free to reach out. All right. Thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed the uh, video.